And welcome everybody to this uh, session on make code for Minecraft, for not for Minecraft, for Microbit. <laughs> I've been staying too long at home. Uh, my name is Pelly. I'm an engineer at Microsoft Research working on the make code team. And today we're going to be doing a cool activity. With me, we have Emil. Emil. Emil is driving the computer. Um, so today, Emil, what we're going to do is we're going to do the coding part of the guitar. All right, so if you scroll down to the guitar, mm -hmm. it's in the music section, I think. This is a very cool activity that involves building your own electric guitar. So if you click on instructions, you'll see that we've got a separate page with some amazingly cool videos built. of a built guitar. And you see that there's two things happening on this guitar. There's tilting the guitar and then also hide, putting your hand on, in front of the mic a bit. And we're going to see why, why that's important. Uh, so if you follow the activity at home, you can build your own guitar. Uh, we'll focus on the coding today. There's, there's detailed guides. If you scroll down and you do get started, there's some pretty helpful guides about how you how you can design your own, but pretty much you can use anything you have at home. And there's also some very cool, if you search for guitar silhouette, you'll see there's tons of resource online as far as the shape you wanna, you wanna do. All right, so uh, that being said, we're not gonna follow the guide. We're gonna start from scratch. So let's start a new program and we're gonna talk about the light sensor. Okay, so um, how about you go into input and you search for the light sensor. Mm. And there's something called light level. Yes, that's the one. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna put that into a plot LED graph because that's gonna be fun for now. This is a very handy little block. It it just gives you a graph of some value. Now, when you, and my, my editor is a bit cut up, there we go. All right, so when you're doing the light sensing, you see that there's this thing here, and it's kind of like a, a sun being up or down. So that's night. Mm -hmm. So that means there's no light going into the light sensor, and then that's day. Mm -hmm. Now, Quiz for you, Emil. Where's the light sensor? Like on the on the hardware. Where do we have one? All right. Here's a micro bit. And if you look at it, and if you look in the back, there's this map. Can't find any, right? <laughs> Keep looking. Please charge now. Uh oh. Is it, the, is it the lights that sense the light? What? Is it the lights that sense the light? Oh, this little thing? Yeah, it is. Is it these? So these are LEDs and they're well known to produce light, but they also work the other way around. They can also generate electricity if you put lights on them, hmm. which is a super cool physical uh, phenomenon Check out uh, Sean Heimel's yeah. video. We have a video on, on how that works, if you're curious. But on the micro bit, the light sensor is a screen. And you can actually use it as a screen, and the light sensor will, will take care of that. Let's see what that does on the hardware. Can you do a download? And can you switch view to uh, view 4? All right, so we're uh, sending the program to a micro bit here. I think I need a bit more light. There we go. And I've got, I've got a little bit of light here. Now, what I'm gonna use is uh, a bright flashlight like the flash on your phone. So I'm gonna use the flashlight of my phone. And you can see that it lights up a lot 
And if I turn off the, the light of the webcam, you'll see. See how when I bring the flashlight, it starts increasing? Mm. Wow. Right? So that's a very cool way to sense, uh, well, something kind of important in life. All right. Now we're talking about a guitar. So let's go back to music. And so what uh, we did already an activity on music. Mm -hmm. What block can we use to produce sound? Play tone. Yeah. Okay, let's put that down. Now, if you think about uh, music, do you know the frequency of uh, like an A? Uh, Have you I heard have no about, uh, you see that actually it's putting numbers? Yeah, it's the frequency. Yeah. Middle A. Middle A. Now, the cool piece is that we can use the piano to do sounds. Mm -hmm. um, and four might just be... Well, we started one, so we can use a piano, but actually we can use math to create uh, frequencies. We could, we could do, look, we could just see what happens. Right, so uh, we are, we're... We're muted. We're muted. And now I think all our sound goes to OBS so we don't see it. All right, well, we'll have to try on the hardware. Now what you can do is use math. So this one goes from 0 to 255. And what we can do is use a bit of math to generate something that would, you know, that would look like a frequency. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the slide level by, I don't know. I mean, you can hear, an adult can hear, oh yeah, let's try that. Oh, I think I hear that. Oh yeah, we're hearing something. <laughs> if you change the... Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah, the computer is very faint. Oh, am I connected to the computer here? All right. Well, let's try that on the hardware and see if we can get that going. We don't don't make it too loud. It's going to blow our ears. Okay. So I'm going to stop the computer sound. <laughs> because that's going to be horrible. So 50 is a bit too high. 34, for example. 34. Okay, so let's try that. And uh, one thing we're going to do is because we know the upper scale, we're going to do 255 here. And this helps our chart kind of scale it. So now it knows if you're halfway through, it's half. And then if you're full, zero, full. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the hardware and I'm going to plug it to a speaker and at home you can use headphones and you can follow the, the the connection system here. So ground goes at the bottom of the jack connector and zero goes there. All right, Mill, transfer the program. Did you already connect the jack? Yes. Okay. Download. I am gonna connect, I have here a jack. I'm gonna turn on the light again. I got a jack connector here with my two uh, crocodile clips. So the black crocodile clips is on the ground, is gonna be on my ground pin. And the yellow crocodile clip. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for your ears blown? Let's go. Yeah. You know what, Emil? Let's make it uh, faster. It, it really sounds better if you go for 1 16th. <laughs> All right. Download again. Oh, my God. And I'm just going to lower the volume, if no, you don't no, mind. No, no. I, I think it's pretty yeah. nice with the volume. Oh, yeah. Volume is great. All right. Uh, no, not too much. Okay. The... I like my ears. Should All I right. Turn it down? Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, now remember, the light controls the light controls the pitch. The higher the light. Okay. 
Okay, so that's pretty cool, and now my ears are completely destroyed. <laughs> so what we did was, um, let's let's look at that again. And we should have done it at times fifty, and then see how high. So what we're be. doing is, let's let's look at the code, figure out what's going on here. So the light level is getting higher and higher with the light of my phone, mm -hmm. and we multiply it so that it kind of become some very high pitch mm -hmm. uh, hertz, and then we play it super fast. So you just do like 30? Yeah, 30 might be better. All right, so the other thing we do in the guitar is we control, we control the frequency with the tilting of the guitar. Oh yeah, so... So we're gonna grab, we're gonna read the accelerometer data. It's not gonna be an event. Oh, it's not? We're gonna do the same trick. If you think about, yeah, this one, and we're gonna stuff it into. Now we're just gonna do straight math. We're gonna stuff it into. We're gonna do the same trick here. Instead of using our beats, hmm. we're gonna put this. Oh, throw it away. And we're gonna multiply with that by. Six. Yeah, the only problem is that it's, it has negative values, which is probably not a good idea. So we probably need to take the Point. absolute value of this. Absolute value of, so the acceleration, and what do you remember? What's the numbers? Uh, it's like 255. So if you don't remember, look at the simulator. See uh, here? Yeah. It's between minus 1,000 and... 1023 plus a thousand and this is how many milliseconds you want it to play so this means that if we tilt it a lot it's going to play very slowly and if we tilt it not a lot it's going to play it for zero milliseconds it's going to be like oh, yes. <laughs> Let's try it. all right okay I see. Uh, let's see in the simulator what it does um do we have sound <clears throat> Thing we killed the sound completely. Yeah. All okay, right, let's let, try let's it on the hardware. Can you go and switch to the? F uh, I did. You did. Right. So you, can you hear now? It's very. <laughs> okay, it's very bad. Because now it's it's playing a sound way too fast. Uh, we need to review our math here. <laughs> so I think we're going to divide it. By a bit more or less? Uh, what do we want? We want shorter strokes. Oh, you multiply by 30. Are you crazy? <laughs> that means we have 30 seconds notes. What is it? Control shift one? Let's let's do one for starter. That's too small. No, no, okay, because one. imagine some of the notes are gonna be one second. Second one second is a lot of time. Yeah. And we've got the simulator screaming at us. Let's <gasps> let's get rid of that. <sighs> there we go. Alright. So I'm going to right click and save the class to the hardware. Emily can go and do the hardware if you want. So you want to reconnect the micro bit. You need to reconnect the yellow thing on pin zero. And now if you tilt it left and right, Too. Oh, I disconnected. So it doesn't it doesn't go into crazy mode. Oh, 
All right, let's try one more time. It's still quality audio. It's very quality audio. Uh, that's for sure. I think it's not loading. Yeah, it's not loading. So this is a... Because somebody made the sound <laughs> full sound. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that was a very, very uh, mind-blowing, ear-busting uh, episode uh, where we uh, went through uh, the code of the... The flash is on. My flash is on. Uh, if, you know, if we look at the code, we learn a few things here. One, we can use this plot bar graph to show a value on the screen. Mm -hmm. That's very helpful. And then we did this really cool math. I'm not blinded. I look straight into the flash. Yeah. <laughs> we can turn sensor data into a sound frequency. Mm -hmm. And the higher the frequency, mm -hmm. the higher pitch. Yeah. And also we turned another sensor into how long the, the note plays. So the smaller the, the sensor data. Yeah the faster it goes. And that's how we build the guitar. So again, if you once we've done this, go ahead into the guitar section uh -huh. and you now click on that and there is, you know, first you build the guitar uh -huh. and then there's a whole bunch of coding lessons, but it's pretty much what we've done Making around. the guitar body, that was just showing you the guitar. Yeah, I was showing kind of the final product, but this is a very fun activity. Built in our garage, right? to go and do if you have cardboard lying around and tape or colors and you like to make some awesome sounds. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. And that's it for today. Um, and see you tomorrow.